In this guide, I'll show you how to set up TP-Link SC1900, aka Archer A8 Wi-Fi router for the first time and get access to the internet in just a few minutes. First, you need to turn off your modem and then connect your TP-Link Wi-Fi router to the modem using an Ethernet cable. After that, you can turn on your modem and then connect your TP-Link router to the power. If the router doesn't turn on on its own, to switch on the router, you can use the on off button that's on the back. After both of them are turned on, we can move to the setup stage. And for that, you'll need to connect it to a computer or a mobile via Ethernet or wirelessly through Wi-Fi. We are going to use our iPhone and connect to the router using Wi-Fi. So let's open Wi-Fi settings and from the device list, select the network with the same name or SSID that's written on the back of your router. The password will also be there. Just put in the password and connect to the Wi-Fi. Now we'll open the browser on our iPhone and on the address bar, type tplinkwifi.net. You'll need to create a new admin password and confirm it. Then select your time zone, then select a connection type, or you can just tap on auto detect and it will detect one for you. Then press next. Then put in the MAC address. If your ISP only allows internet access to a specific MAC, select clone current device MAC. If you're not sure, then you can go with use default MAC address. Then press next. If you enable Smart Connect, our dual band networks will be merged to one. And if you disable this, you can customize both networks individually by changing their name and password. Then hit next and the settings will be applied. You'll get an overview of the networks you just created. And after we have created the network, we need to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. And on the Wi-Fi list, you'll be able to see the network with the new name you have just given it. So select the network and connect to it using your password. So we can go back to the browser and hit next. This will test your internet connection, which may take a few seconds. And as you can see, our connection setup is now successful. You'll get asked to create a TP-Link account, which you can skip, and our setup process is fully complete. Now from this page, you can reconnect your TP-Link router whenever you want. Now you're ready to use your brand new Wi-Fi and enjoy surfing the internet. Let us know how it went down below and I'll see you in the next one.